Good morning, children. Let us thank God. Today's thought. If you are not listening, you are not learning. So, dear children, listen and learn. Dear children, today's topic is auxiliary verb. It is called anomalous finite or helping verb. Auxiliary verb is a verb that is used with another verb to show the time and continuity. Auxiliary verbs usually used with a main verb to express the main verb's tense, mood and voice. There are two types of auxiliary verb, primary auxiliary and motels. Be, do and have are the primary auxiliaries. The B verbs are am, is, was, are, were. B is an irregular verb with several forms. Am, is, are are used to, to indicate simple present and present continuous tense. Am. We have to use the auxiliary verb am only with the pronoun I. Example, I am happy. Yes, yes is used with singular subject or singular pronouns. The singular pronouns are he, she and it. Example the girl is a dancer. Next one. This person is a doctor. Third one. He is a good boy. Fourth one. She is smart. Fifth one. It is a nice day. Sixth one. The boy is playing. In these sentences, the girl this person, he, she, it, the boy, are singular. So we used is. We use be verb to talk about nationality. Example, I am an Indian. He is an American. We can use be verb to talk about a person's job or profession. Example, my brother is a policeman. My sister is a teacher. R. R is used with plural subject or plural pronouns. The plural pronouns are we, they, you. Example. The children are naughty. Next. The buildings are tall. Third one. They are kind. We are lucky. The girls are talking. In these sentences, the children, the buildings, they, we, the girls are plural subjects. So, we use are, not. Even though the pronoun you is used for singular and plural subjects, we have to use the auxiliary verb are after the pronoun you. Example, you are welcome. Was and were are used to, to indicate simple past and past continuous tense. Was is used with singular subject or singular pronoun. Example, he was busy. The dog was new. The child was crying. Were is used with plural subject or plural pronoun. Example, they were friends. The dogs were new. The children were watching. Dear children, just a quick view of B verb. 
um, is, are, was, were are the forms of be verb. Am is used with the pronoun I. Is and was are used with the singular subject or singular pronoun. Are and were are used with the floral subject or floral pronoun. Do verb. Does, do and did are the forms of do verb. Does. Does is used with singular subject or singular pronoun to indicate present. Example. She does the work. He does it. She and he are singular pronouns. Do. Do is the supporting auxiliary. It is used in forming negatives and questions. It is used with floral subject or floral noun. It will take negative immediately after it. Example, they do not want to see the picture. The children do not like to attend the function. Do you like this? Do is used to frame questions. We have to use do after the pronoun I. Example, I do not like this. Remember children, I do not like and not I doesn't like. After I, we should not use does. I doesn't is the wrong formation. When we speak, we have to say I don't like. Did. Did is used with singular and floral subjects to indicate first. Example, he did the work. They did the same. How verb, has, have, heard are the forms of how verb. Has is used with singular subject or singular pronoun. How is used with floral subject or floral pronoun. Had, had is used with Singular subject or singular pronoun. Example has. The girl has a new book. She has a car. Have. I have a doubt. They have a big house. Had. The boy had a problem. The boys had a match. Let us do the exercise first one fill in the blanks with am or is or are first one the boys dash ready to listen dear children the boys singular subject or floral yes good the boys floral so we have to use are Next one, the boy dash BC. The boy, singular or floral? Yes, good. The boy is a singular subject. So, we have to use is. Next one, I dash ready to learn. I, the pronoun. Remember children? After the pronoun I, we have to use am. So the answer is am. Next exercise. Was or were. Number one. They dash compelled to agree. Dear children, they is a floral pronoun. So we have to use were. They were compelled to agree. Next one, you dash allowed to go. Dear children, after you, we have to use were. So, the answer is were. You were allowed to go. Next sentence, he dash not allowed to go. He 
he is a singular pronoun so we have to use was he was not allowed to go next do or does first sentence dash you want this do you want this next sentence does she come here does she come here third one the does not want it they do not want it next exercise has a have first sentence the girl does a new book dear children the girl is a singular subject so we have to use has the girl has a new book the children dash a work to complete dear children the children is a plural subject so we have to use have the children have a work to complete next one i dash breakfast at 8 i remember children after i we have to use have so the answer is have i have breakfast at 8 let us recall there are two types of auxiliary verb primary auxiliary and models auxiliary verbs are called helping verbs there are three types of primary auxiliary verb be do have forms are the primary auxiliary verbs am is was or were or be forms do does did or do forms has have had or have forms am is used with the pronoun i is was does has are used with singular subject are where do have are used with plural subjects today's work worksheet will be sent based on this video complete it and send it to your subject teachers whatsapp dear children i hope that you have understood be ready to learn about models in the next video dear children be brave be creative be kind be thankful be happy good luck thank you